All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to try to make this video as quick as possible. I know I always say that and I get carried away, but I'm really going to try to make this one quick. Um, we're going to start with Mr. Glass now up top going up against Milwaukee. Milwaukee started off the season, you know, hot like fire. They sizzled down. They sizzled down. They cooled down somewhat, but they're still a good team. But Glass now. What I need, to, what I need to personally stop doing is stop fading the um the aces of the slate, so called the so called aces of the slate, to save money. That's what I've been doing. I've been trying to save money. It's been biting me in the ass half the time. But um, fire up glass now. Tanner Hawk against the Yankees. The Yankees. I mean, personally, I'm only really worried about the top three guys. Lead off, Soto, um, Judge. The rest of the rest of them I'm not worried about at all. Um And the Yankees haven't been as explosive as they were also, so I don't mind playing Hawk against the Yankees. Pablo Lopez hasn't been as dominant as he used to be. Houston's picking up steam. I'd stay away from that. If you want to play Pablo Lopez, you could shove Pablo Lopez up your ass. I'm not touching him because Houston is Houston is coming back with a vengeance. BB against San Francisco. San Francisco is another um, not so great hitting team, but they do have some power guys um, throughout that lineup. Ramos, um, Conforto on a good day. Matos, if he starts. So, um, it, San Francisco's not a walk in the park, but um, he, should, he should be able to get some decent strikeouts out of there. Freed against Philly. I wouldn't play with Philly. I mean, like I said, there's no Schwarber, there's no Harper. <sighs> I'd take a shot with Freed. You know, you really just got to worry about Hoskins. Um, Marsh, Stott, maybe. I've been expecting Stott to do a little bit more without Harper and them in the lineup, and he hasn't really been wowing me, but I guess that's my problem. Whatever. Aaron Nola against Atlanta. I guess you could take another shot. I'm still targeting Atlanta. They're not back yet. They're not anemic, but they're not back. Castillo against Toronto. Toronto's a little bit hot. Um... Castillo's a little bit mid. Not the same dominant Castillo as we're used to, but you know what? Sometimes people get older and their stuff just gets a little bit, you know, not as good. What you gonna do? Nesta Cortez. I've never been a believer of him and his goofy wind up. Boston should take him to the moon. Fire up Boston. I've been targeting Gosman for like two 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 seasons now. The problem is the team going up against Gosman, they're asked themselves. I'll probably be interested in um, Crawford. And if you believe Rodriguez is making his way back, you could take a shot. But you know he might just still be a bum. I'm not. I don't. I'm not sold on Rodriguez. He had one. He had a home run on Fourth of July. Whoop de do. You know. So if you think if you think Rodriguez is going to have another good game, Crawford, Rodriguez. Cal Raleigh, go fight him up against Gosman. Because Gosman's been. Every time I target him, he gets smacked. So I don't know. Maybe I'm biased. Um, Cole Reagans. Absolutely. Colorado has some 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 little bit of power too, but you can fire up Cole Reagans. Colorado never performs when they're expected to. So screw him. Suarez, I'm not touching. The rest of these guys, I'm not touching. I could already tell when it's about to fall off a cliff. Once I see Suarez's name, I know the rest of it is, is not looking good. Let's just double check. Suarez, no thank you. Olsen. Reese Olsen is really not that bad. You want to take a shot on Reese Olsen against Cincinnati? You could take that shot, but Cincinnati, they could give you zero, zero points or they can give you 13. That's the problem. Do you really got the balls? To play Reese Olsen and think he's going to mow down Cincinnati over and over again. That's what you got to ask yourself. Maybe go to your bathroom mirror and look in the mirror and ask yourself. Is Reese Olsen going to get it done tonight? 
Or is Cincinnati going to smack them up and down? That's what you got to ask yourself. I can't pull the trigger. I can't pull the trigger. I can't do it. Not right now. You got De La Cruz. You got Stare. You got Candelario. You got India. That's a tough ask. And Thorpe against Miami. I'd probably take that shot. Miami's trash. Lorenzen, I don't play. Spires, no thank you. Sassoni. Sassoni's probably going to get destroyed. Hogan Harris has been decent, but he's going up against probably the, the best lineup in the baseball, top to bottom, as far as power goes. Power at every, every stop. Everywhere you go, one, two, three, four. Power, 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 power. You can't pitch around Baltimore. You know, you can't do it. The rookie's coming up and smacking balls out of the park. There's nothing you can do. So Hogan Harris is probably in line for a long night. Dubin against Minnesota. That looks like an L for him. Vasquez and Freeland. I don't need to, they don't need no introductions. Let's find the pitcher and let's get going. Um Milwaukee can get to glass now. He's not gonna shut him out. Um, target the Yankees, boy. That's some. That's some. That's some big ball shit. Let's go with BB against San Francisco. Hope they can pitch around. Um, who's the guy I said? You know who I mean, Ramos. Hope they could pitch around Ramos. They can get around Ramos. You really ain't got nothing else to worry about. Ramos and Matos. If you could bat around, bat around those guys, you don't really get, you you ain't got to really worry about Wilmer Flores or um those other bums. You really don't. All right, BB. Let's get some bats. Let's get some bats going. Uh, man, Baltimore. I love playing Baltimore. I'm going. I'm going to go pick up Baltimore. Baltimore, Kansas City. Baltimore, Kansas City. Um. All right. Give me. Kerstad. That's how you say his name at thirty six hundred. Been a beast the last two weeks. I'd prefer Gunnar Henderson, one of the best hitters in baseball. Let me see. Um, you want to really keep it. If you want to really keep it cheap, you can just go with Kowser. You can do Kowser. You can do Santander. Um, Mount Castle is a little bit too cheap also. Let's go Mount Castle. And now we go to... Kansas City, I said. Kansas City is still struggling a little bit. I mean, they're getting their hits and they, they're getting runs, but they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Kansas City, Arizona's hot. Arizona's hot. San Diego. But if I go to San Diego, I'm going to want Cronenworth, right? All right, hold on. Hold on. All right, let's go to San Diego. Let's just see something real quick. We could pick up Machado. Right. Let's pick up Profar. Let's pick up Machado. And then let's go back and get Mount Castle. No problem. There's room enough for all of you. Boom. So we're going to go with BB against San Francisco. We're going to go with Mount Castle and Kerstad. From Baltimore, we're gonna go with Machado and Profar from San Diego. Both both teams with in, with exceptional um, batting advantages. We're about to go to Fanduel in about 15 seconds. If you're new here, welcome. Appreciate you taking time to watch my video. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Hit the bell, thumbs up the video. If you're struggling to cash and not just MLB, but any sport, WNBA, PGA, MMA, no problem. Check out the Patreon link in the description. Check out the channel memberships right here on youtube and we do have super chats open and available let's go to fanduel 
Let's get one of our lovely pitchers. Let's get some bats. Let's get going. Cole Reagan's is, if you see on DraftKings, he's all the way, he's priced like mid-range. I did I did think he was priced a little bit too low when I first saw it. You see him you see him like one, two, three, four, fifth, five, one, two, three, four, fifth. What am I what am what language am I speaking? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's the ninth highest pitcher on DraftKings. He's the second on FanDuel. That means something. He's either overpriced or underpriced. I think he's underpriced. Um BB against San Francisco, 9,800. Freed, Castillo, Gosman, Reese Solson. Reese Solson does stand out to me, but it it, de it depends it depends on your mood. If you really feel like, if you really feel like um playing those type of games, high risk, high reward type deals. Um, Waldron, I don't mind playing, but Arizona's been. A little bit good lately. Aaron Nola, Pablo Lopez, Tyler Glass now, 11.2. Jeez Louise. Let's go with Cole Reagans for now. Um, let's get some bats. We could probably target Suarez because Oakland is cheap. Their bats are cheap. Then I opened up salary for everything else you want to do. See my strategy there? I want Roker, definitely. And I want Blood Day. Batting lead off. Boom. So we got those two guys out the way. Roker's not really a value, but Blood Day is. So we got Blood Day, 28. We got 3K left. And <sighs> so Sony. All right, let's now. Now we could get our Kansas City guys. Bobby Witt, forty-eight hundred, and you know what I? You know who I always play with? Bobby Witt. Mikel Garcia is thirty-nine hundred. Maybe, maybe we switch it up to save some coin. You feel me? Uh, was Pascantino thirty seven a little bit cheaper? Perez is thirty nine. What about Massey? Massey is thirty five. These guys are priced up. Um, these guys are priced up. That's fine. Let's pick up Pascantino. We'll throw him at first base. You're definitely gonna have to do some altering with this lineup. Let me alter a few ahead of time. Let me be a nice guy. Um, I do like Waldron. Arizona's tough though, but I do like I do like Waldron. Last five games, three strikeouts. No, three runs, two runs, one run, two runs, one run. Three strikeouts, eight strikeouts, six strikeouts, two strikeouts, four strikeouts. He just played Arizona. One run, four strikeouts, 37 fantasy points. Four games after that, 26, 46, 40, and 13 fantasy points. You know what? Screw it. Fire his ass up. Now we have more money for bat. See? Don't say I didn't do nothing for you. We're going Waldron. We're going Pascantino and Bobby Witt. Going uh Brent Brent Rooker and JJ Blade. And I'm gonna go on to get out of here. Appreciate you taking time to watch my video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, thumbs up, check out the Patreon, linked in the description, check out the channel memberships right here on YouTube. Super chats are open. I appreciate you guys for watching. Hope you had a profitable Fourth of July, and I'll talk to you guys later. Ciao.